Hello and welcome to Armor 2. Now this game is absolutely awesome. It's a military simulation tactical shooter. Now it's not your COD, it's not your battlefield. It's bigger than the two. There's over 200 vehicles to fly and drive and armoured vehicles, helicopters. Oh! RPGs going off over my head. Now this mission is called Flashpoint Generis. Basically it's World War 3, it's the Americans versus Russians. Everything is dynamically generated, nothing is scripted. It's just a big fucking war. <laughs> and we're going to see helicopters and tanks and god knows what, awesome firefights. Now I'm using the mods, um, Blast Core FX and the Sound mod. Uh, JSR, whatever it is, I can't really remember, but it's just absolutely awesome. So this video is going to be the best parts of this mission. Now, as you can see, we're in a firefight engagement. There's some Russians in the tree line over there. And in a moment, a enemy chopper comes above. And lucky enough, I have a Stinger missile. Now, you may notice I'm not using night vision goggles because, you know, the explosions and atmosphere just look so much better without them. I, I don't fancy playing in green. If I wanted to play in green, I would fucking, you know, use my Game Boy. So, I, d I, I hear a helicopter, so I scan the horizon and... Uh, the chopper that I can hear coming towards me is actually a friendly, friendly Apache as I lock onto it. But in a second, uh, an enemy MI something, I can't remember what it was, MI 74 or something, uh, flies right over me and I fire my uh, Stinger missile at it. There it is, it's right above me. But it launches its um, chafe. Or chaff. There you go, so I didn't hear, I just hit the chaff. And I've run out of ammo, so. Damn it! Now, th this bit I want to demonstrate how awesome the grenades are. So there's a couple of Russians over there, I'm going to launch a grenade over. And watch this, this effects. That is great, I just love that. I think I took them out anyway. And as we move up um, towards this little wall over here, there's a couple of Russians still alive in the tree line. So we give them some what for and who ya and gun them down. Just see they're shooting at us. The thing is, we have to check whether they're friendly or not. Get down, motherfucker! Hoorah! <laughs> so this is the, this is where my uh, grenade went off, and as you can see, I've got like four soldiers with it. So that's a good good old shot with a grenade, I think. And I'm going to loot this guy. Because I want his RPG. I haven't actually got an anti-tank weapon or anti-vehicle. It's not going to do much to a tank, but you know. It'll take out a jeep or something. So, sorry buddy, but this is war. I need your weapon. Well, it's now I've got this RPG. In a minute, I, I, I actually have to put it to use. And we get pinned down really bad. We, we put ourselves in a shitty position here. There's a enemy Vodnik there. I think it's the uh, turret version. So we will open fire on it. To get the RPG out. There it is there. And I just missed! And that's it. No more ammo. And he just takes out a whole squad basically. Vodnik is a. It is an armoured vehicle, it's light armour. But it has an awesome uh, machine gun turret on it, and it just completely annihilates us all. So I try and shoot out the wheels. If you shoot out the wheels, uh, it disables the vehicle, and they actually jump out and try and fix it. But that fails. I've got two guys left in my squad, so I'm going to try and grenade it. Just get, uh, Oh, the guy, I didn't see that guy to the uh, right there just got the knife laid. <laughs> and so did I. I'm dead. So here's a fatal mistake I'd done. I um, run ahead a bit and then I'll see um, what they call BTR in the distance. And I've got my uh, anti tank weapon. So I go over to this uh, broken, uh, blown up BMP here, this BMP3, and take cover behind it.
and little do I know I'm actually surrounded by Russians over there. So I get out my uh, anti-tank weapon. And then go to target it, which is just there. And I just miss it, he just moves out of the way the last second. It's like, oh! Lucky I got a couple of rounds, so I'll give it a few more shots. And stupid me fired it right into the tank that I'm standing next to. So I've got one more shot left of this thing. And I take out his wheels. And then it, it notices where I am, so it starts firing at me in panic. And now I have no anti tank weapons and I'm actually stuck. And then I noticed uh, enemy uh, tungsten. Now I'm absolutely fucked because I've got the BR uh, BTR to my left and this tungsten uh, to the right. So I'm just stuck. There's nowhere I can go. They both know I'm here. And in a minute they're just going to light me up something awful. And it is absolutely epic though. Really is. So I'm going to apply this field dressing real quick. So here we go, look, they light me up, the BTR's light me up from the front and the tungsten's made its way behind me. He can't get the uh, arc down, so he can't get me yet. He's, he's trying to get away where he can get me, he needs to... Basically I'm too low and he can't get his guns down low enough to shoot me, so he's, he's moving. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck, that was close. <laughs> Really, really stuck here. I can't go anywhere. So I launch a couple of grenades. Cause there's, there's, there's another Vodnik there that wants me dead. So I throw a couple of grenades over. Wrong direction, of course. The AI is really good in this, I think. Uh, they outflank you. If they, if they can't get to you, they'll manoeuvre to a position where they can. And, you know, it's just... You don't have much chance. This game is incredibly hard to stay alive. This is my, like, third character. Because every time you die in this mission, you can respawn as a, another character uh, who's nearby. And I'm actually fucked here. I'm just surrounded by Russians. And, uh... Now I've got a fucking UAZ uh, with the grenade launcher on top coming towards me. And that's a unfriendly chopper as well, I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> they really want me dead. There he is, just over the other side of this. So now I'm another character and I've got my anti tank weapon and I notice another BTR coming down the road. So I give it some uh, one in the side and it's still firing. So I've got to make sure that thing's dead, because the turret might still be uh, working. I think I took out its wheels. You can hear the engine still going. There we go, that's it, dead. Lovely jubbly. One BTR down, I've got my guy who's injured at the top, he can't walk, his leg has been blown out. Okay, so this bit um, just shows you how good this dynamicness is, once a helicopter goes over. A uh, friendly uh, M1 Abrams tanks uh, comes along and I'm like, yes, we've got some heavy armour support at last. So I turn around, there he is behind me there. So I'm like, alright, I can get up now and actually sort out my squad. I've got a medic in my squad now. And I go and try and make him heal uh, number three, whose legs have been taken out. He can't crawl when he's holding us up. So there's the tank, he's going up the road where I killed that BTR. And then listen, you'll hear it. That was our M1 tank going down. And what took it out? A T70, uh, T90, sorry. So I'm like, oh my god. I didn't actually notice the T92 just now when it started firing on us. And it's like, oh my fucking god. What, we're, we're totally exposed up here. There it is, look. It just took out the uh, M1, M1A2 Abrams. So I'm rolling around like a fucking roly poly on the ground. Trying to keep out of the fire of this bloody tank. Our M1 tank's still actually alive. Um, it's just uh, badly damaged. I can hear it. 
over there. So what I attempt to do is go over and uh, see what I can do. So lucky for us that T90 uh, had better things on its mind and uh, decided to just go away. Or it's not even got us in its sights, it's shooting someone over there. A couple of RBGs, there's a tow uh, Humvee behind the M1. So we're going to investigate the uh, tank wreck. It's just over here somewhere behind this burning, whatever it is. Can't just make that out, but all the fallen trees here. So here's the downed M1. Still, you know, it's just damaged. Okay, so there's not much we can do with this uh, down tank. So what we've got to do is blow it. So the enemy can't get their hands on it. Cause you know what uh, the Russians are like? They can grab it, retrofit it, you know, make it their own basically. And last we we want is a M1 uh, Abrams shooting at us. M1A2 Abrams shooting at us. So I go up to this uh, tow Humvee up here and see what gear it's got in the back. I basically need some an more anti-missiles for my launcher, but uh, I don't think it has any in there. But what it has got in there is some satchel charges, so I'm going to plant them around the uh, downed Abrams so the Russians can't get their mitts on it. There's another friendly Abrams over there. M1A1. Shooting at an enemy chopper. So the coast is clear to go and get this downed Abrams out of the road. We have to blow it. So there's basically no support for... Uh, you know, them big trucks that uh, are tractor things that move objects off the road. So I'm planting the satchel charges now, one on each corner. And get the hell out of there. I've got to blow it, I've got to make sure my squad's with me. I don't want them around the blast radius. Unfortunately, I get shot just as I blow it. I'm not really sure who by or where it came from, but you know. I'm going to turn around and blow the crap out of that tank. We need it off the road. It's blocking. Turn the engine off of this. It's getting on my nerves. So if you eject from a vehicle in Armour 2, the engine still runs. I'm going to blow this. There we go. But I died just as I'd done it. 